Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video is one of my most requested videos. It is how I curl my hair. And I typically get those questions in my fashion videos. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I curl my hair along with my hair extensions. I do wear hair extensions. A lot of you guys are like, I wish I had long hair like you. It's hair extensions. Boxy Lux hair extensions are the best. Not only am I going to be showing you how I curl my hair, but I'm also going to be sharing with you the different types of curls that I like to use. So on my hair, I don't have just one type of curl. Although it is curled away from my face, I have a variety of curls in my hair. And I love wearing this hairstyle when I'm going out or I have some kind of special event to go to. Sometimes I'll wear it during the day for more of a casual look or like a photo shoot. It's so fun to wear for a photo shoot because I can run my fingers through it. It has been warming up here in LA, so I like to wear my hair in a bun sometimes and just kind of rock a bare face. Um, but yeah, this is literally one of my go-to hair Styles. If you guys are interested in the tips, tricks, and how I curl my hair, please keep watching. I like to brush my hair with this before I curl or straighten. This is a pretty unique brush. Every design is hand-painted and crafted by these talented artists. It also feels really good on my scalp. It like massages my scalp. Oh, that felt really good. I'm going to install these hair extensions from Foxy Locks. They're 22 inches long and I absolutely love the quality of them. I've had them for almost a year now. I've used so much heat. I haven't washed them just yet. I know it sounds kind of gross, but I don't really use a ton of product on them anyway and they still hold the curl very nice. A lot of the hair extensions that I used to wear out there were heavy and they felt super uncomfortable. These ones I can wear all day without any kind of headache and I also can pull them up in a nice ponytail without like the band sticking out, which is really nice. I'm going to start installing my hair extensions and I'm going to focus them on the bottom and then I'm going to apply two layers of it on top here. I used to also put all the hair extension pieces in my hair, but with these ones I don't have to because each piece is so thick. Another reason why I used to put all my hair extensions in is because I used to dislike seeing that gap between my natural hair and my hair extensions. But because I'm going to be curling my hair, it doesn't matter. Like there's going to be a bunch of curls everywhere and tons of volume. So that gap kind of fades away, especially at the ends. I'm going to be using the Foxy Locks hair wand and I like to use this size. This is like the biggest size that they have. And I don't know what size this is, but it's pretty much the biggest size that they have. And I'm just gonna take small or medium sized sections and curl all my hair away from my face. I like to always start at the very bottom. And I'll just bring all my hair to one side and I will tie the rest. Combing out my hair before I add any kind of heat. I don't want to curl any kind of knots because when I do that, I tend to notice my hair is more damaged. Okay, so pretty much I like to start off with this amount. Actually, no, let's take a little bit more because that's going to take me forever. That's the nice thing about these extensions is that you can take a medium section, curl them, and they'll hold the curl very nice. I'll take about this much and start curling my hair. And as you can tell, this is all going to be away from my face. Not every curl is going to be curled right at the root. Some curls are kind of curled right at the midsection. Some curls are curled right at the root. And I find that it gives more variety in layers and length. And I like how they just sit together a lot more that way. The only thing that stays consistent is pretty much curling my hair away from my face. So like right now, I am curling my hair away from my face, but I kind of have it more at a, kind of at a horizontal angle like this. And I find that it kind of gives more of a different type of curl which I will show you when it's done curling. As you can tell, the curve here is a lot wider than this one right here. The curves are a lot shorter. Sometimes I also like to kind of do more of this flat wrap. So what that means is laying the hair flat against the curling rod and it kind of gives me more of this like surely 
temple type of curl. So it's a lot closer together and tighter compared to the loose wavy curls that I've been doing. So yeah, I kind of like to switch it up when I'm curling my hair because I feel like everything is such a different way of curling, although it is away from my face. The curls tend to kind of link up together and it kind of locks in together better that way. Another type I like to do on my hair is the spiral wrap. And what I mean by that is my hair will tend to be like this already twisted and I will wrap it around. and I get this like really tight, twisted curl. And these tend to last pretty long and they're really bouncy. That's pretty much all the different types of ways that I like to use the curling iron and I will do that throughout my hair. So each curl is not perfect. It is curled away from my face. That is the only thing that is consistent, but everything else, each curl tends to kind of curl differently based on how I wrap it. All right, now on to the final section, and this is pretty much my real hair. And I like to take the smaller sections up here because I tend to run my fingers a lot through this part. And when I do that, the curls tend to loosen up throughout the day. I like to make sure that my curls are nice and tight up on the crown area. And I like to place the rod at the root, keep it there, and wrap the rest of my hair around the rod. And sometimes I like to just twist my hair away from my face. And I find that it just gets a lot more tighter as well when I do that. So same thing here, I like to take a really nice small section. And just twist it. So from here you can tell I already have a nice lift at my root because I place the rod close to my scalp. I like to split this part into two. This is the shortest layer of my hair and I love layers in the front because they give me nice volume. And I like to also rotate the rod right at the root, that way I don't have any kind of frizz sticking out. Okay, so now I like to spray my hair with more of a texture spray. I'm not really into hairsprays anymore. I feel like they just add more weight to my hair, if that makes any sense. Like a lot of my curls tend to fall out with a lot of the hairsprays that are out there right now. I love to use texture sprays. Not only do they soak up any kind of oil that I have on my roots, but they also add a lot of volume. I like to focus this right at the root and I shake it up first and just start spraying. And I like to lift my root and then spray. And then I just mess with my roots. I like to do a little part here because I feel like it gives me more volume. And we are pretty much done. Okay guys, that is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want more tips and tricks on hair, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button, and I will see you guys in my next video.